What is up, guys? Welcome to the next episode of our Cracker Pack series. Today, we are opening up a newer set uh, just in the last year, Hour of Devastation. Um, so if you're a standard player, hopefully you'll enjoy this one. I believe uh, there's really not too much in value in this set. Uh, Nickel Bolus, I, I think, is still the highest card in this set. So hopefully we'll pull something along those lines. If we don't, that is okay. Uh, but we'll start off our cons with a Frontline Devastator, a really good limited card. Unquenchable Thirst, Solitary Camel, that artwork is fantastic, uh, Marauder, Marauding, excuse me, Bone Slasher, Oasis Ritualist, Kenra Eternal, Cunning Survivor, Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs, Survivor's Encampment, Oketra's Avenger, and our first uncommon is a cursed horde. Uh, this art is actually really fantastic. The perspective on it is, I think, really really cool. Um, Magmaroth, Tenacious Hunter, another great limited card, and our rare Razaketh, the Foul Blooded. So this is actually a really great pull. Uh, and then of course an island and a token. This is great though. Uh, five and three black, which is quite a lot for a legendary creature demon. It is an eight eight. It also has flying and trample. Uh, you can pay two life and sacrifice another creature to search your library for a card and put that card into your hand, then shuffle your library. So this was actually, uh, when it was spoiled, I think commander players had a heart attack because this is absolutely the kind of card you would want to see in commander. Uh, technically infinite number of tutors if you really have the creatures for it. Uh, you can combo off with this and get basically anything you need out of your deck. And because you have a high life total, it's really not too much to pay that two life. And generally you would build around this, so maybe this would be your commander or something along those lines, but really fantastic card. Unfortunately not good in any other formats really. Uh, it's just way too expensive, and in Reanimator there's just better targets, uh, Grizzlebrand being, being probably the best. Uh, situationally obviously other ones are better, but uh, still fantastic card, really really happy to see this in fact. Uh, and the artwork I believe is really really great, uh, I do love the art in this set. So. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and comment down below. Make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more. Uh, with that, though, I think I'm going to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.